This program is brought to you by Emory University. And Provost Earl Lewis, will you present our fourth honored guest? Mr. President. Mr. Provost. I have the honor to present the Honorable Vicente Foss Casada to receive the degree Doctor of Laws. Vicente. Vicente Fox Casada, diplomat, collaborator, visionary, from delivery truck driver for Coca-Cola Mexico to president of that national organization, from the founder of an orphanage to governor of Guanajuato, you rose to the presidency of Mexico and did so independent of the ruling party of seven decades your imagination heralded the first peaceful transition of power in Mexico to an opposition party. You increased the rights of Mexico's indigenous peoples and brought transparency to government. You worked cooperatively with the United States in addressing drug trafficking and illegal immigration and reduced Mexico's debt and inflation. For your deep understanding of the social and economic challenges of our hemisphere, for your commitment to using authority for the greater good in our neighbor country, we honor you with this degree of Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa. At this time, just as you have gotten comfortable, President Fox, I'm going to invite you to come and deliver our keynote address. Please welcome again, President Vicente Fox. Cor Trurentis Posidevit Scientium, the heart of the prudent will possess knowledge. And I would add, the passion of the leader will make you conquest your dreams. Commencement day. A very, very special day for you. On these days, as every day, Chopra teaches us, we must give a gift every day to every person that we meet during that day. Time for your gift to your companion at your side. Maybe a smile. Time for a gift to your, your parents and your family here present. A gift maybe of a good thought and a deep thanks to what they have done to make possible for you to be here a gift to your teachers, to faculty, to the leaders of this university, a gift to those who assisted you during these four years that made possible that your sacrifice, that your efforts, that your staying late at night gave you, because you deserved the gift of this degree. And every day we must thank life for the gifts we receive. Like being in a university of excellence, 
like you have been here for four years. Emory University in Latin America, Africa, no more than 22% of kids of your age have the opportunity to be in school. What a big responsibility is upon your leader's shoulders. What a big responsibility to work on this commencement day, and every day you commence meeting challenges to work to bring opportunities for those kids in Latin America, those kids in Africa, Russia. What a big responsibility it is to meet the challenges of today's world where we need solutions for migration, because migration is about leaders also. It's about people that have dignity. It's about people that are real heroes in that fight every day of their life to bring a better life to their families. They are a very special cast as you all here are. Leaders today, and we are all leaders. You are a leader. You are a leader. You are a leader. You are a leader. We are leaders all the time of our life. We are born leaders, each and every one of us. And that's the best and first gift of life. But not everybody discovers that leadership. We have to come within ourselves. We have to discover our leadership. We have to make sure that through leadership, through being for others, through helping our neighbor, through building our community, through building our world, we will find our own joy, our own ecstasies, our own happiness. That's the power we carry within ourselves. So please, commence. Exercise your leadership every day of your life. Leaders in our family, leaders in our community, leaders at work, leaders in society, in politics, in economy, in business. Passionate leaders, compassionate leaders. Machiavelli would say, through fear, you gain respect. My hero Iñaki, the saint of Loyola, would say, through love, you gain respect. Through being for others, you understand yourselves, and you access to your own self-realization. Difficult world, turbulent world, financial crisis, economic crisis, poverty spreading throughout the world again, disease, and that's where leaders come to be. That's the challenge of your life that commences every day. We need to reshape, you need to reshape the world, to reinvent it, to bring new order and new justice 
as the founding fathers of this great nation started 200 years ago. This leading nation with its leading universities creates, assist to discover leaders every day. This is the most fantastic university system in the world. And universities are pillars, are foundations where thought is generated, where freedom is nursed, and where commitment is attained. So this is the world you're going to be in. You have to have high, very high aspirations. Leaders don't go for less, changing the world, reducing poverty, increasing education, increasing wealth to all families and all peoples in the world. Heroic aspirations is the cause of a leader. I know you have dreams, big dreams, and you're going to accomplish each and every one of them because you are leaders. And those dreams you have to hook on the stars, up above, high, and they will make you grow each day. Be better persons. They will make you feel happy in your heart because you are working for a better world and for others. This is the charter we have at Centro Fox, the first presidential library ever in Mexico or anywhere in the rest of the world outside of the United States. And Martha and myself, we commence every day. We commence as a truck driver. We commence as a farmer and a rancher. We commence as a politician. We commence as president of Mexico, and we commence again when we turned the presidential sash to the leader, Felipe Calderón. So life is waiting for you. The world is waiting for you. Your parents are going to be with you. Your teachers are going to be with you. And you will keep learning new things every day. Every single day, you are going to be learning new things. God bless you. God will make you successful because you deserved it. You worked hard during four years. You're graduating now. Please be happy and God help you. Thank you. President Fox, that is a, an awesome challenge of high expectations for a class graduating from an American university. We will do our best to meet your leadership expectations. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.